Today I'm going to show you how to fix that face detection autofocus on your Sony a7 III so it's not grayed out. Here we go. Here are the five reasons that face detection autofocus might not be working on your Sony a7 III camera and how to fix it. Before I get into the reasons why it might not be working, I want to show you real quickly just how you turn it on and off. If you try turning it on and it gives you an error, there's probably one of these following settings that you need to change. Okay, if you don't have face detection set in your function menu like I do right here to turn it on and off, what you want to do is you will click on menu and then we're looking at page 6 on this first camera tab. It's AF2 is the menu, so autofocus 2. There's a lot of autofocus options. So it's the third one down called face eye autofocus set. So you'll just go down to there click on it and you've got face eye priority in autofocus and that's the same thing so just turn that on there and you'll have face autofocus turned on now if you have this newer firmware there is also an animal um, mode so under subject detection you want to also make sure that you're on human and not on animal which is for cats and dogs faces so unless the person looks like a cat or dog you probably want to be stuck to human Okay, one of the first reasons that face detection autofocus is probably not working on your Sony camera is because you have control by smartphone turned on. You gotta turn that off if you're shooting 4K, otherwise it's just not gonna work. Let me show you how to do that. To disable the control of smartphone feature, you're gonna be on the network page, which is the third one over, and then you're gonna go down on the first page of that is CTRL with smartphone. So you just click in there, and make sure to turn that to off and then you should have face detection back another reason you might not be able to use the face detection autofocus is because you have proxy movies turned on that's another feature that if that's enabled and you're shooting 4k you are not going to get face detection autofocus so here's how you disable creating those little proxy files now to disable proxy recording if someone had turned that on in the camera you're going to be on page two of movie down there at the bottom of the first tab called proxy recording and just make sure that you have that turned off. Now another reason that face detection autofocus might not be working is that clear image zoom is turned on. You gotta turn that off. It's not gonna work um, and here's how you do that. For clear image zoom you're gonna be on the fifth page of the movie section which is funny because clear image zoom is just as much for pictures you're going to be on the fifth page, zoom setting, and make sure you're on optical zoom only. So another reason that face detection might be turned off is if you're using an external monitor while trying to shoot 4K. That's another thing where the camera computer just can't handle it, so you got to turn 4K off or stop using an external monitor. I would rather not use the external monitor and trust the camera system, so I don't use an external monitor. Um, but if you are, just know that you're going to be shooting 1080 if you want that face detection to work. Now for the external monitor, as long as you don't have anything plugged into the HDMI port, you should be good to go to use face detection autofocus. The final feature you want to make sure you're not using is 120 FPS when you want face detection autofocus to work. It just can't keep up. The camera is amazing, but it can't do it at 120 FPS. It can, however, do it at 60 FPS, which is what I choose to shoot most of my slow motion with, so that's always an option. You can shoot at 60. To get the camera out of 120 frames per second super slow-mo mode, you're going to be in the video section, page 1. The fourth one down is your record setting. If you change this to anything lower than 120 FPS, you should be good to go with face detection autofocus. So I'll scroll up here. A favorite of mine is to use the 60p 50 meg setting, which looks great, and you can have that box drawn around the faces so they're in focus. Okay, if you didn't catch on, there was sort of a trend here. A lot of these things that disable the face detection autofocus have to do with shooting 4K. So if you are someone that just wants to shoot 1080 and doesn't have a need for 4K, you can usually use all these features that I mentioned and still get face detection autofocus, which is pretty rad. I hope you learned something from this video today. If you did, please tap the like button, click to subscribe because I've got new videos coming out every week right now with tips that you're not going to want to miss. And we are trying to help you create videos that make a difference and stand out. I'll see you in the next one.